guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this super cute orange and teal look for today. And I'm gonna be using a bunch of new products today as well. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I started off using the P. Louise base. I'm finally, finally, finally trying this on my channel, but I'm using the shade Rumor Number no. 4. The base is really great. I really like it. I like the fact that it kind of sets itself and yeah, it picked up the shadows really, really well. So. Yep, I'm just gonna use that to prime my eyes and carve underneath my brow like I always do. Then once I'm done applying my primer, I'm gonna use a little bit of setting powder just on the outer edges of the eyelid. So that way I get that really airbrushed look on the outer edge once I'm done applying all of my eyeshadows. The first shadow that I'm gonna be going into is from the Be Perfect Cosmetics times Stacey Marie Carnival Palette. I'm using the shade Envy. This is like a deep kind of like foresty type of green. I'm gonna apply that onto the crease first using a Morphe M506 brush. A lot of you guys asked me like what kind of brushes I like to use for all of my eye looks. And this is pretty much like the number one brush that I love to use. I feel like it's like the perfect size for my eye shape. It's not too large where everything is just kind of like all over the place, but it's also not too small where it takes me like forever to do something but for the most part I use this brush for almost all of my eye looks and I have several of these so that way I can switch between different colors so I'm not like using the same brush for different colors if that makes sense. I'm then going to go in with mint using another clean M506 brush and use this to blend out the edges of our previous shade. To deepen up the crease even more, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Subculture Palette. I'm going in with the shade Axis. This is like a really dark, like teal type of color. I really, really love this color. It's so pretty. And I'm just gonna pop that onto the crease as well to give the look that more dramatic feel and smoke it out a little bit more. Then moving on to the lid, I'm gonna start off using two different colored bases from P. Louise. These are their new Basic Brights bases. <laughs> I'm using the shades Yes A Yellow and Winter Rose, and I mix those two shades on the back of my hand, and I'm patting that onto the lid to prep for the eyeshadows that I'm gonna use next. I was originally going for like a peachy type of color, but it kind of like switched up, but I'll show you guys what happens. Um, so once I'm done applying the base, I'm just gonna go back in with the same brush that I used to apply Axis, and just go over the edges again so we don't have any harsh lines. I want it to kind of be a little bit softer today. Then to set the base, I'm gonna go in with Foolish from the Carnival palette and just pack that onto the lid really well. Next, I'm gonna use this Peach's pigment in the shade Space Hopper. This pigment is definitely more orange than peach, so that's why it kind of changed after I applied it. But either way, I thought it looked super cute afterwards, so I just kind of went with it. So once I was done applying the pigment, I went ahead and just added a really cute liner using a black gel liner from Ofra Cosmetics. I added some mascara and lashes. The lashes that I use are from Tati Lashes. These are the TL Mitchell ones. These are freaking fabulous. I love these lashes. They're so fluffy. Then I did a little bit of cleaning up using the P. Louise Rumor base again.
So once the eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to skin. I'm gonna prime my skin first using the Jouer Moisture Primer. I've been loving a little bit of glow underneath my foundation as well. So I'm using a little bit of liquid glow from OPV Beauty. I'm just gonna pop that onto all the high points of my face. So a little on the forehead, cheekbones, on the nose, as well as the chin. Then for foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 370. I'm using two concealers today. One is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35. I'm also gonna be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in 4 Neutral. The Laura Mercier Concealer is a little bit darker than I'd like, so I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to kind of brighten up the face a little bit more. And I love the way these two concealers like mix together. It's like a perfect match for each other. The Pro Longwear Concealer is a little bit more like tacky and kind of it dries a little bit faster. So I feel like the Laura Mercier concealer kind of balances it out. And I'm just gonna buff that out using the same brush that I use to apply my foundation. Next, I'm gonna add some powder, set all of my concealer areas. So I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in yellow. I love this powder so much. It's so nice. Um, it just gives like your skin like this really beautiful, like flawless finish. So I'm just using that to set all the areas where I applied concealer. I don't typically like to bake. I always just apply with a brush. I feel like for me personally, my under eyes are pretty dry. So baking for me just doesn't kind of go with my skin type. But um, if you'd like to bake, you can definitely do that at this point too. So we're looking a little flat right now, but that's okay because we're gonna go ahead and apply some bronzer next. I'm using the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the shade in number seven. This is one of my favorite bronzers to use. It just has like that perfect balance between like not too orangey, you know, not too neutral and it's perfect. I don't really like to wear a lot of blush or anything like that. Bronzer is perfectly okay with me. So I'm just gonna apply that onto all the areas where I'm looking to kind of warm up the skin a little bit more. From there, I'm gonna move on to eyes again. I'm gonna to just work on the lower lash line. That's pretty much all I have left to do. So I'm going in with all the colors that I use on the crease. I'm using mint first to kind of get that nice smoky type of effect. Then I'm going to go in with Axis, that shade from the Anastasia Subculture palette. I'm placing that really, really close to the lashes, like almost as if I'm doing like an eyeliner. And I'm going to use Envy from the Carnival palette to blend mint and Axis together so I get a nice smooth like transition on the lower lash line. I thought it'd be really cool to add a pop of color onto the waterline. So I'm using this liner from LA Girl. I've never used it as a lip liner and I don't intend to. So I decided to place it onto the waterline and I feel like it went perfectly with the lid color there. I have no idea what this liner is called or what the name is. So I'll definitely make sure to put that down in the description box for you guys because I really, really like the way that this like kind of came together. I feel like the combo is like perfect for each other. 
At this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna add some lash primer. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. While it's drying down, I'm gonna add some inner corner highlight. I'm using another Peaches pigment. This is in the shade Pixie. It has like this really pretty, like pink, baby pink type of vibe to it. Then I can add some mascara and that's pretty much it for the eyes. And now it's time for my favorite part, which is highlighting. Shout out to Fenty Beauty for sending this to your girl. This palette is amazing. I was really excited to try Stone Cold from the palette. This color is definitely more on the icy side. So I wasn't intending to go for like a super highlighted look with this because like I said, it's more of like a silvery type of color. And usually golden highlighters complement my skin tone a little bit better, but it just kind of ended up being that way. Like these highlighters are super pigmented. So a word of caution, definitely a very light hand pick up a little bit at a time and kind of build it up but i like the way it looks regardless and my pictures on instagram turned out bomb so i have no complaints <laughs> after that i'm just gonna go ahead and add some setting spray this is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray it's in the cherry scent i really hope they make a full size of this because i love the way this smells it smells so good and i love the formula too so it just works perfectly Then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm lining them first using this lip pencil from Kiss Cosmetics. Um, I'm not really sure again what the color of this lip liner is, but I'll make sure to leave it down below in the description box. So I just lined my lips with that and made sure to feather out the outer corners of my lips. That way it's a lot easier for the lipstick to blend into the liner. Then I added some lipstick from Anastasia. This is their matte tube lipstick in the shade Nude. I've been loving tube lipsticks these days. They're just so incredibly comfortable. Like they're way more comfortable than liquid lipsticks. I bought a ton of these on Black Friday when Anastasia was having their lip product sale. So you'll definitely see me using like more tube lipsticks in the future. I really thought that I was gonna not apply lip gloss today, but I just had to do it. And it looks perfect. Like I feel like it looks perfect with this look. I use a mixture of two lip glosses from Peaches Makeup. One one is sisterhood and the other is girl talk. And that pretty much is it for this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial and like this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more makeup tutorials, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.